For Wine Enthusiast TV, I'm Michael Schachner, contributing editor for South America. Today we're at Viña San Pedro. We're in the Maipo Valley at the Las Piedras Vineyard. I'm with Javier Bitar, general manager for Viña San Pedro. Javier, it's good to be with you. Good I understand you. that you might have won a prestigious award last year. I, we did, we did. We're very happy because we were awarded the Wine Enthusiast Magazine's Wine Star Awards for New World Wine of the Year in 2011, which was a great honor, uh, which made us very proud and in a certain sense validated all that we've been doing in the last few years of uh, really putting together a very strong team, very passionate people with a lot of talent and our commitment to make really fantastic wines that the people will love uh, in a sustainable way. An award like the Wine Star Award that we were uh, we were honored with, in a certain sense, uh, shows that we're in the, on the right path. Javier, 1865, it's your single vineyard line of wines. Tell us a little bit about the importance of single vineyard in the portfolio at Viña San Pedro. San Pedro is one of the largest wineries in Chile. We own over 6,000 acres of vineyards and uh, in all of the main uh, winemaking valleys. So we wanted to, I think Chile, one of its major assets is, is its diversity. And, uh, and we feel that we have different vineyards that give us a, an example of that fantastic diversity. So we decided to make a single vineyard line where each variety is shown in a different valley and shows the best of what Chile has to offer. In 1865, what does that signify? Well, it signifies that we're a pretty old company. We were created, we were founded in 1865. We were almost 150 years old now. Uh, and we wanted to honor the, the pioneering spirit of the founders by making a pioneering line in the 1865 line of wines. I'm with Marco Puyo, chief winemaker for Viña San Pedro, and we're in the Maipo Valley in a Cabernet vineyard. Marco, good to see you. Tell us about where we are. We are in the Alto Maipo, or Upper Maipo, in the property of Viña San Pedro. This vineyard is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, and it's 100% for the wine 1865. And what do you call the vineyard? What's its name? Uh, the name is Las Piedras. And what Las Piedras is because we have too much stones. Uh, uh, like this soil is a second terrace of Maipo River. Uh, was formed for the alluvial pass of uh, the river during a lot of years. We have uh, about 40 centimeters of pure soil with an important percentage of clay. Then we have an important percentage of stone around. It's the reason that we put Las Piedras. Marco, now that you've told me all about the vineyard and the terroir and everything that leads into 1865 Cabernet Sauvignon, let's taste it and talk about it, the wine itself. Very full-bodied, a lot of dark fruit, mm -hmm. still very good acid. It's intense and elegant. In the mouth, I feel that the wine is, is round with, with fatness, elegant, and, and it's a good length also. Would you say something like a filet like this would be the perfect food to eat with this? Uh, I think yes. Enjoy. Uh, enjoy. And we are going to taste uh, Cabo de Hornos, which is the top wine at San, San Pedro. Marco, tell us a bit about Cabo de Hornos, please. Cabo de Hornos is the best wine uh, of Viña San Pedro. It's the best wine that we make every, every year. It's a blend where Cabernet Sauvignon is the main part of the blend. Also Syrah and some percentage of Malbec. Marco, let's try the wine and talk about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm finding a very fresh mm -hmm. style. A lot of red fruit, a lot of raspberry, cassis, red plum, good acidity. I think this would go really well with food. Also showing great ageability. It's a wine that has a nice acidity. It's long, it has a nice finish in mouth. And I think that is going well with, with, especially with meat and with some condiments also. Cabo de Hornos, what exactly does that mean? Cabo de Hornos uh, means Cape Horn. And it's a place uh, where the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean merge. In Chile is an icon for our geography. Mm -hmm. And Cabo de Hornos is an icon for San Pedro. Marco, great wine. Okay. Congratulations.